Hi, before I get into the video, make sure you've seen Modern Soldiers video or that you check it out afterwards as my video is a more in-depth explanation of the Hypixel, Skyblock economy and market. I also want to make it very clear that this video will not be exposing any money making methods. It will only show you how to discover ones yourself. I'm also very happy with how my last video did so I just want to thank everyone who has seen that video for watching it. If you haven't, check it out. Uh, it's my first real Skyblock video. That's all I had to say, let's get into the video. So the market is based on two variables, supply and demand. Now supply means the amount of items that there are. So let's say seeds for example is an item of which there's a lot on the market but no one wants it. There is no demand but a lot of supply, therefore it's cheap. But if we look at potatoes, on the other hand, a lot of people want potatoes to make hot potato books. Therefore, there's a high demand. Therefore, potatoes are more valuable than seeds. You may think that this is such a basic concept, but if you truly understand how this works, it's going to be very easy to find flips by thinking of items that people are going to want more. For example, before the mythological creatures events, you were able to check the recipe book to see the recipes for the new items and a lot of them involved enchanted gold blocks. Knowing this, you could know that the demand for enchanted golden blocks was going to just go through the roof. And they did and a lot of players made an absolute ton of money off the update, including me. The point is, try to keep an eye on items that might become very useful, thus will have a higher demand, because you might be able to make a lot of money. So items that are hard to get are expensive, right? Well, refined minerals are no longer able to be obtained and have pretty much tripled in price ever since the event ended, so I missed out on a lot of money there. Let's talk about flipping and why it works. Flipping works efficiently because of how the Skyblock community has been built, where some players are lazier than others. Usually, rich players don't want to spend time on making items, therefore are more willing to just buy the item ready-made as it saves them time and they won't care about paying a bit more just for the convenience. You as a player can take advantage of this and do the hard part for them by sniping cheaper auctions and selling them higher on bin, or by crafting more complex items into the final version for some nice profit in the end. At this point, people are paying extra for a service and you can provide that for them in exchange for coins. With this information, you should be able to keep your taps on the market at all times and search for your own flips that work for you. What items do people want? What items are people too lazy to get themselves? By asking yourself this, you should be able to come up with a good way to get some money. You can also take this a step further and try to find items that the NPC merchant are willing to pay extra for. Sometimes the market value can dip below the NPC selling price. And at that point, you can buy items on the auction house or bazaar and sell them for more at an NPC. The last type of money making method is services. Services are an effective way to earn money as they tie in well with flipping, relying on people's laziness to profit. Being able to come up with different tasks that you can do for other people can earn you a lot of money depending on how much demand there is for it. A very common example of this is pearl spamming where a player hires another player to throw pearls up into the air and both of the players gain a bit of money from this. So there's a mutual benefit in the service. But this is only one example of hundreds of different services. You can get very creative with this and it isn't limited to just things on public islands. It's important to come up with unique money making methods for yourself or your close friends as this way it doesn't affect other people's way of gaining money. But also you should know the economy is a very competitive place and as long as you find your own niche within, you should be able to make some profit alongside the rest of the Scablock community. Money is very important in Scablock as it can get you pretty much anything you want, but if I would just tell you to flip seeds, for example, it wouldn't help anyone. So if you take this information and the one from Modern's video, you should be able to apply this with your own thinking and come up with some effective money-making methods. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. If there's a lot of an item, it's not worth much. If there's a few of an item, it is worth much as long as it's useful. And that is demand. Good items have high demand, bad items have low demand, and usually high supply. So get out there, find money making methods. If there's an update announced, look into what items are going to be worth much. Just use your brain and try to make some fat bank. 
Anyway, I hope this video helps you understand the market better, why things work the way they do. I also hope it helps you understand Modern Soldiers video better. That's all there is to say. I mean, uh, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you like the video, what you would like to see next. And take care.